Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey, and I have some thoughts on the Pirates of the Caribbean event. And let me tell you, it's it's good. Uh, you know, it's I actually really like it. I like you know, having the Black Pearl, or the pirate ships in the middle of the map, uh, having a place there in the middle of the map that you know you're going to be guaranteed to get the new ship in a bottle item so that you, you know, sometimes Fortnite will, you know, especially in the past, they would add an item to the game. And I, I remember sometimes playing for hours and being like, oh, man, I have not picked up this new weapon they added in the game yet. I like that, you know, I, I, I know there's a place I can go. I can easily get my hands on it. Um, you know, I, a lot of people are landing there, so it makes for a fun time every time you go there right now because it's going to be full of action right away. Um, you know, and you know it it's not intrusive right like last season when we had the avatar event that was a little too intrusive because to add in the avatar items they took items that were like core items to the season right at least with this event that did not happen i think they learned their lesson from last season where uh, fans of the game just didn't like that. You're saying, you know, we like the loot pool. Go ahead and add to it, but don't take away the things we, we like about it already. So I like that, you know, the Flintlock pistol, the treasure map, the ship in a bottle. That stuff got added in without taking away from what we already love about this season. Uh, and then the items that were added, yeah, they're not, they're they're not overpowered. Flintlock pistol, not overpowered. I do love that I can use it without dying to fall damage now, <laughs> in uh, if I accidentally use it, <laughs> you know, near a cliff or the edge of a build. Uh, treasure map, uh, same thing, not overpowered. You know, you're just gonna get the shields, the the Flintlock pistol and the ship in a bottle. Uh, the ship in a bottle. Uh, to me, it's not overpowered. Again, it's not doing a gigantic amount of damage to players. And yeah, it does destroy a lot of builds, but it's fun. And, uh, you know, it's not like you can just, you know, wipe through an entire area you're basically just going to go in a short straight line and destroy whatever is right in front of you uh so yeah i mean and then you know the cannons they've never been anything powerful they're a fun little item to use uh on the map to rotate a little bit but nothing more than that so overall i think this is a really good event um you know i love the aesthetic I, I love, um, you know, the, the, the first movie of this. Uh, I absolutely lo loved when it came out. So I, I love the the IP, the, co the collab that they're doing here. Um, yeah, I think this is, this is really good. So uh, good job on them. Like I said, I think it's even better than the Avatar event from last season i think again that they learned uh, some things from that so yeah overall good event uh you, you know today there's not really any news to talk about we can see uh people playing there's 164 or sorry 161,000 on battle royale 177,000 on zero build reload has 135,000 reload zero build has 51,000 um lego fortnite twenty four thousand. rocket racing 2000 uh festival 1800 or the battle stage 1800 the festival is 9000 uh you got lumberjack heroes 3300 melad party royale 1000 
Uh, only up Fortnite 4,000. Let's see. Pirates Tycoon 354. Airport Driving Free For All 2,900. And a whole lot more to be discovered in the Discover tab. Uh, let's head on over to Quests. There's some more Cursed Sales quests today, it looks like. Uh, no, the new quest will come out tomorrow. I guess it was just showing me that I had collected some gold I, I played. And uh, yeah, I've, I've collected a little bit of gold uh, for the events here. So yeah, just be, you know working on everything that's out there the curse sales your dailies your reboot rallies all sweat summer there's still story stuff to do if you, uh, you haven't done it yet like me the weeklies a ton to do right now uh when i was uh watching my kids you know this was last night so by today i don't know where they are but yesterday when i watched my kids play for a while uh, Blaine was at level 196. I think Dante was at a level 134 or something like that. So, again, not it's not hard to <laughs> level up right now. You should have no problems leveling up your battle pass this season and making sure that you unlock all the rewards, all the bonus stuff. We still got, uh, I guess, a little bit less than a month to go now, but about we'll just say about a month left in the seasons and you know like i said just watching my kids play and from when they started playing it really takes no time at all to level up so get out there and do it okay uh let's see here let's head on over to the item shop and see what's in the item shop today okay so of course all of the special offers and bundles the Lego items, the cars, jam tracks, gear for festival, Metallica, Ariana Grande has returned. So Ariana Grande items are all here. The Pirates of the Caribbean items are still here. Uh, the Fortnite flow section, John Wick, uh, the down, downhill demon bundle is back. That's got Hannah outfit. Skull of Calaritus back bling, Utility Snap Sword Pickaxe, the Skybound Longboard Glider, the Tornado Spin Emote, the Adrenaline Chaser Wrap, Speed Demon Emote, Way Too Fast Lobby Music, and All Downhill From Here Loading Screen, all for 2300 which is 1400 off the total. The FNCS Bundles are still here, and that's everything today. Really? I'm, let me look through this again. Yeah, it's it's a, just a lot of bundles. There isn't really... I'm going to do a triple check here. Just because that's kind of bizarre. Again. Yeah, it's all... It's all bundles. Like, there's not a section for just, like, the featured Fortnite stuff. Um, of, of just assorted random collection of outfits interesting well that is the item shop today so you can get any and all of these items using code mikey m-m-m-i-k-i-e in the item shop and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show now most of this stuff was already here and uh other than that it's all big bundles that we've had in the past so I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of those. And out of the ones we have, you know, we've over, we've obviously already talked about Pirates of the Caribbean. So um, I, I'm going to go with the John Wick bundle because I love the John Wick series of movies. So that's what I'm going with. That, that's going to be your item of the day today. All right. Um, yeah, just a very interesting item shop just still kind of hard to believe that they didn't have you know like a section in there that just has you know usually the you know six to ten random 
outfits that they selected from stuff in the past. It's all, it's all these, uh, you know, intellectual property bundles or their FNCS bundles. Interesting. Cool. All right. Well, um, on that note, uh, that that's also going to be the episode for today. So make sure you go join the daily Fortnite discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, head over to Apple podcasts, leave a five star rating and a written review for a shout out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.